All right. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Hey, what's up, Chef? Yeah, I think the dip meter has a flat tire, apparently. J5 is going to go uh, repair it. Um, what's up, Nick, Tom, Dave, Randy? Hope all is well, bud. Um, so I'm not going to be able to make uh, the Toronto show this weekend. Um, just, you know, too much going on here. But it's a good thing. We're, knock on wood, uh, we're going to be buying a major collection tomorrow. So I'll be doing a video. A uh, gentleman's coming down to our office. So I'll be doing a video uh, probably the moment he leaves. Uh, so cross your fingers for us that uh, there's no bad weather and he'll be here tomorrow morning. Super excited about that. Hey, what's up, Dave? What's shaking, Steven? Hey, Jim. Um, we're about to open uh, Jim's 1964 Beetle Cello Pack. This is the last one I believe we have in stock. Top card is centered. Hopefully that means the rest will be centered as well. Hey, what's shaking, Chad? Uh, so wanted to cover just a couple things. Uh, first, our new big event is now live. Um, all the details will be available hopefully by tomorrow afternoon when we go live uh, at 4 o'clock or so. Check out event.vintagebreaks.com for both the Buy Any Spot promo and the VIP um, promo as well. That'll be ending, uh, is it December 7th or 8th, J5? 8th, December 8th uh, will be the final day. Uh, I think the final time will be 3 o'clock. Uh, we'll be broadcasting live from the Valley Forge Convention, which is always a good one for us. Shake and Mark. So um, before we open up the Beatles cello pack, I want to mention two other things. First, I'm announcing right now, uh, we did this the other day, I only had one other hoops box. Uh, I thought this makes a fun giveaway. Uh, Mikey will open it if it does sell out. Um, there's 24 packs. Uh, Sam, it's going to be a $50 bonus. It is first come, first serve. So if you spend 100 bucks on spots at vintagebreaks.com, you will secure yourself two packs. However, we're not going to crack the box uh, until all 24 packs have been given out, in which case then we'll randomize the list and we'll have Mikey open it when he gets here, uh, provided it does sell out. So that's the deal, uh, the deal with that. Sam, 50 bucks, uh, $50 bonus. Uh, 2019 hoops. It is the first appearance of Zion in a pro uniform. Um, and then right after the Beatles cello pack, I'm going to be opening up this. I've heard these are pretty good. So we're giving one away tonight. I did pick up a few, and I don't open much for myself, but uh, you know, I'm going to have some fun and open this. Uh, and the guy suggested I do it on camera. So what's fun about these megas by Prism Football is apparently you get one exclusive mega rookie autograph Prism neon green card per box. What does that mean? I don't really know, but we're going to find out and have some fun opening that in just a minute. But without further ado, we're going to get to Jim C's 1964 Beatles Cello Pack. I believe local recording is already good to go. Awesome. Oh, folks, uh, I just want to make sure I mention this. Really cool product. I know we've been opening some 19 triple threads. Marginally more expensive, but you, know, you already have the likes of Acuna in there, Soto, Otani, I think a few others. 2018 triple threads. So we got our hands in just a couple boxes. All right, Jim, let's see what this holds for us. I believe this is a 10 card pack. They sold 10. Uh, they sold 30 cards, excuse me, for 29 cents back in '64. These cards look crispy. That's cool. Uh, new hit random on the site. 86 clear basketball set break is on the site. A bunch of really good stuff. First card is pretty nice. A little bit of edge wear, uh, Jim, upon further uh, review here. Um, nice, but I don't think you're going to grade this one. Oh, Monty, I loved hoops in the 90s, absolutely. Um, Panini bought the hoops name, so they uh, produce it as one of their basketball sets. So, Jim, I'm sure as you know, um, the most popular cards in the set uh, that do the best value-wise are the ones that feature all four. So, of course, we're looking for something like this, just a little bit better centered. This is nice. Probably solid eight here, Jim. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mess up your card. No, I did not. Um, Jim, not sure if you're doing this set. Most people who do this set generally do eight and higher. This looks to be a solid eight. Don't know if you could squeeze out a nine because of the centering, but you might. You know, I'm pretty sure I set up to measure that for you. This is a little OC left to right. Jim, if you want something that's eight graded or gradable, just drop me a line, whether it be in the chat, you can text me, email, whatever's best for you. Just not sure what you're working on the set. So this is a cool card. Um, it has features all four, smidgy off center left to right. 
probably looking at a 9.0C, if I had to guess. Yeah, Brandon, seems like it, right? It's a nice one of all four. Yeah, Randy, you the same, bud. Randy's been with us uh, almost since the beginning, and we were breaking uh, almost exclusively on Breakers.tv. First episode. First episode, wow. Yeah, Nick, this is a great set. Hard to find centered and in really nice shape. Thus, the reason why I think Jim was going for the pack, my guess is he might be working on the set. Features all four. Don't quite remember this card, um, but it's interesting uh, featuring them. Kind of what my son would do, like something he sees at the beach, sticks his melon in uh, something and asks me to take a picture. This is a nice one, holding a guitar. Once again, though, smidgy off center, top to bottom. So, Jim, so far the best one seemed to be that one that would grade an eight. Um, if you want to grade it, just drop me a line. This is nice. Uh, against the backdrop of the city. A little bit of wear on the bottom, Jim, maybe from being the last card in the pack. If you're lucky, you get an 8, probably a 7. That's pretty cool, Nick. Thanks for the heads up on that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 10 card pack as we thought. Thanks again, Jim.